Welcome to Max Wheeler. In this episode, I'm gonna give you my first impressions on the Bigot Master. Let the show begin. Okay, bye. Hi, welcome again. So I received the Master, which is one of the wheels I really wanted to have this summer. Unfortunately, I received it on fall, but it's okay because I have it now with me. So the first thing I did to the wheel was putting the pads in and I wanted to personalize it. As you can see, all my wheels, they have like this coat coating that is like uh, red, uh, white and black. And I really like the looks of it. And funny story, uh, I had some friends over for dinner about two weeks ago and we went out for ice and my friend had like my both wheels on his hands and then I received a call from another friend telling me like, hey, someone has your wheels in the gas station. So that's a little story that can tell you why it's very good to like have your own style of wheels because the community, they know you and if something happens, they will help you out. So let me start the first impressions of the master. I really like the, um, the material that is being used. I don't know how good or how bad it is, but I can assume that in a crash, you can have like a very bad experience. We have seen in other videos that that happened, but I like to touch, it's, it's very, very nice. To give you an idea also, like this part on the lights that you can see, it's, part of a foam, like for example, when you go to like a karate or to a yoga place and you touch the ground, you can see that it's exactly the same material. One of the disadvantages personally for me, which is like very personal, is that on this material that you have on the pads and here on the top, you cannot add stickers. So it's sometimes they like peel off and I gotta like create like a new like strip to like put it in. So it's, it's, it's just personally for me, but it is what it is, right? One thing that I'm very impressed that they address personally is the trolley handle. The trolley handle, as you can see, the bottom is inside, which is different from the Sherman. The Sherman, I have it on the back here. So when I used to trolley my, my Sherman, sometimes by accident, I just grab grab it with my hand and make it go down. With the master, and I think the new big old wheels, that problem is addressed. It's very like minor, but I, I like that they thought about that. In other reviews, I saw that the trolley handle was like a bit uh, not sturdy or not strong enough, but in my opinion, it's very good and very easy to trolley. That's very important because when you're like out of your wheel and you're trying to manipulate, I prefer this type of handle than the Inmotion ones or like the new Veteran Sherman S. I don't know what's gonna happen there, but I, like these type of handles, in my opinion, are, are the best. And I can see why some people, when they were trying to lift their wheels from, from this handle, it broke because the wheel is heavy. So that's not possible to, like I could probably do it, but it's obvious that I'm gonna break it. With the Sherman, it will happen the same. If I try to carry the wheel from the trolley handle, it's gonna break. Oops, forgot to mention that there is no safe place to grab the wheel. So the trolley handle, I like it. I, I didn't thought I would like it, I really like it. And then the height, once you pump the suspension, it's, it's, it's great. Like. For me, I can like easily have it. It's manageable. I am six, six foot, which is 184 centimeters. I don't know if a taller person will have any problems, but I don't think so. Smaller person is gonna be very good for them. Really like it. The details on the trolley handle that I see are, for example, there is like some screws here that they should be like all the way in. Like it's just like kind of attention to detail. I haven't, I don't want to force them, but uh, that's that's the thing. Then I have here that uh, the, the ports for charging, which I don't know if it's a, like, it's protected. Once you're driving the wheel, for sure it's protected. But I don't understand the purpose because the wheel has some parts on the need that if you are like with water or something, it could go, go into the motherboard and maybe have a short circuit. Like, 
There are some people that they say that that can happen. So I really don't want to test it. I would not take it to water for sure, like no water at all. So having the, the, the connection here, like it's okay, it's practical. I like it. I don't know, like from probably from a design point, it's very good to have it there. It's very well protected, but I don't think this is gonna be the cause of any accident or anything. But when you, when you have, and when you're using the stand on the wheel, for example, I'm gonna do it right now. Like, okay, so let's see that you're like charging it. So it's like, probably like that and then you probably need to have your trolley like that, then it can fail and then you can bend the trolley handle and wow, that's gonna be a pain because if you bend it, you cannot put it back in. I'm just like speculating what could happen if you charge your wheel and then by accident, it just like poop, just like it, it goes out of it. I, I probably will be like very careful when I do that. So, that's one thing. Now, moving on to another very uh, controversial part of the, of the master, which is the, the mud guard. The mud guard, in my case, it was not very good adjusted, so I just like screw it in a bit more, and it's, it's okay, it's respectable. I can see that if you have it a bit upper, and then you try to put the wheel on, on its stand, probably you can like crack it. And also when I receive it, the charger was right here in this position. So when I left, lift the charger, I almost broke this. So be careful when you're handling this. Okay, the, the seat is very useful. I don't like to drive sitting. I don't feel secure enough, but uh, it's very comfortable. Even if you're waiting, it's, it's a nice seat to have. The screen is very legible and you can actually see it when you're driving. It has uh, the battery indicator, it has uh, kilometers. I would like to see that uh, as a Sherman, that when you start a drive, you can see like how many kilometers you have done because like that you will have more sense of how much battery you have compared to the kilometer that you have traveled. So probably you could do that like on a app, which is darkness bot for iPhone, but I would like to see it here too. Uh, you have two buttons here and then let's go to the lights. So the lights are okay. They are uh, two modes, which is this is the normal one. And then you have the flashing one, respectable. It's not the best, not the worst. Uh, it's adjustable, but I really don't like to like move them very much. But they're, they're like, they're good. Uh, now, uh, another thing that I'm a bit concerned is the exposure here of the cables. I don't know if that makes me a bit nervous that something can happen. I, I see silicon here and there, so probably like some waterproofing or do they, so they stay in place, who knows. The, the, the batteries, the, the casing is not uh, as clean as you might imagine. It's very easy to catch uh, dirt and is plastic so one crash is is over also i see the screws are not all in so i have the feeling that if i screw it in more i will just crack the case another th like like i don't like that but i mean the design it's amazing i love it it looks very sportive i wouldn't change it and i hope that the uh parts where you where, where like the company is catimate like resources, like they didn't spend a lot is like on these like simple things, which is purely cosmetic. And inside of it, I uh, like, I mean, I hope they, they like update up their game and they are like very reliable now. Uh, the pads, I'm very comfortable with them. I had a plan to switch them for a Grisla plate plus some pads because I really like them, but there is no need like I really like how they grab my legs and I really like how I don't feel that I'm stuck but I can push the wheel I don't plan to jump with this wheel because it's very fragile so I think that the need for pads is just for someone that really like wants to grab it but in my opinion it's very good as it is and the looks they, they you cannot beat them it looks 
super clean. It's sporty, aggressive. I, I, will, I will take it over any other wheel. Now, the pedals, they are super high quality, like very, very high quality. I even have uh, one of those boxes. I have the, um, the Nilanova ones uh, waiting for one of my Shermans. And once the time comes, I'm gonna do a video comparing them. But these are very grippy, super nice. You have uh, the two points right here to take it out and then you can adjust it from here. Also, you have uh, uh, the, the ability to play with the angle of the pedals with these two screws, which is a very unique uh, feature that Bigode has. This is my first Bigode wheel. I'm very hyped with it. I really enjoy it. Uh, so now let me tell you one of the, of the bad things in my opinion, the, the taillights. Like the taillights, they don't do their job very good at night. It's very hard to see. Uh, that's why I added some like LEDs here, uh, which I have them somewhere there. But I will show it to you later on the edition of the video. And they are very good to correct that error that Bigot has. Uh, the wheel, the tire, uh, I, I play a bit with it. Uh, that's gonna be more for like my test drive, but I really like the tire. I thought I needed to have like a street tire on it, but I'm completely happy, happy with this. I can do a lot of things and I like the aggressiveness of it. It's just playing with the PSI, what matters. It's very uh, agile in my point of view. And yeah, that's, very impressive, like Big Goat, uh, this is, as I'm telling you, I was scared because of the um, fires and everything that happened with them. But now if they invested in the right things, like this is a clear winner. Uh, on looks, it's, as I'm telling you, like a, the best I can, I can, I can see on, on the market. Uh, for a crash, it's not gonna be good, but I think this wheel is catered for someone that has experience. It's not a first time, the first wheel uh, user wheel. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't take it if I were new because of how fragile it is. But the looks, they, they are very nice. The materials, at the touch, they feel very good. There is like a gap here, which I don't know if, uh, like doesn't feel like very firm. It's just like the skeleton. The waterproofing is another thing that I don't like. Uh, I've seen videos where they like kind of like put water in it and everything is good. But I've seen someone that had like a cutout because they have like water one day before. So in conclusion, I would not risk uh, the wheel or myself into a water situation. That's why I have uh, other wheels. Uh, the battery indicators, I'm still like trying to figure out if they work good or not, showing me how much uh, I have. Uh, I would like to have a bit more lines, like the veteran Sherman Max, but uh, for now, it's very nice. In conclusion, the Master is not the wheel of the year, but all these qualities and design makes it a very good wheel altogether. So when you are buying a master, you know what you're getting and you're not getting nothing less. I had high expectations for high expectations for this wheel. And honestly, it didn't disappoint. I knew the quality control, like something like minor details are lacking, but definitely they're going into the best way. And because of that, thank you, Bigot. Now probably you have my money for the master pro. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I, I hope this was a useful first impressions for you and see you in the next ride.